So welcome back to part two of our recent The Meadows episode with the Berries couple. I ended last episode quite abruptly because it suddenly dawned on me that I was really enjoying the apartment and it would be such a shame if I had to edit it into one video. So I thought I would stop it halfway through and now we will continue with the rest of the apartment. This is a part two, so I do recommend that you go back and watch the previous episode. I will link it down below. But before we get started, I do want to address my background quickly. I already announced this on Twitch and and Discord, but for those who don't know, I am actually moving to Portugal in a week tomorrow. So I am kind of living in a very chaotic apartment right now. So it's going to be quite a weird few weeks and I don't really know how that will affect uploads for now, but I just thought I would give you a little bit of an update. So yes, for now, let's jump back into build mode and continue with the berries. <laughs> So welcome back to The Meadows, which is this apartment block right here in Palm Sims, which is our rebuild of Del Sol Valley. You will need to go and watch part one of this video because in this episode, we are just going to be doing the remaining rooms to this apartment. Let me give you a super quick tour of what we have already done. So this is the Berry family down here. We have an interior designer, which is Kyle Berry here on the right. And then we have a chef, which is Kay Berry here on the left. And then we have Pearl Berry, who is their daughter in the middle. So this is their apartment so far. So as you can see, we've done the main living space with the lounge kitchen, moving into a dining room. Then we have a little pantry slash, slash office for the cook. We've also done the hallways here and we've done the two bathrooms. And actually I briefly started the bedroom. I'll go and show you that in a second. This is Pearl's bedroom here. But of course, go and watch episode one to see what we've done in these rooms here. I love how they've turned out. This is exactly the kind of style that I had in mind for them. Them, so I'm very happy with how it's turned out. Here is the little dining room, the pantry slash office. We have a few little reading nooks in the hallway and then this main entrance here. So today we're going to be doing the master bedroom here, Kyle's interior design studio here, and we'll go and finish off the bedroom. So let me show you what I've done for Pearl's bedroom already. We've gone with this blue color palette. Oh, I can actually delete this red shelf. This is just to clutter up this surface. Um, and I've put this little cabinet in front of the bed with a TV and some books. And then I was going to clutter up the shelving unit here and the desk on the opposite side. And we need blinds. So I guess let's go and start with those. Let's get in some nice blinds. By the way, I don't know if the mic is picking up the crazy wind that we are having today. It's actually gale force wind, so it's pretty terrifying. Um, but I hope that the mic won't pick it up because it's very loud. Now I've got to remember that it's all about clashing prints in this house. So I'm going to have to try to bring that into the kid's bedroom as well. Okay, now let's go and clutter up this shelf and I want to do a piece of artwork on it. Fairly large just to fill the space up top. Okay, so I've just gone and cluttered up this shelf. Nothing too fancy. I just pulled a few items. I think uh, a kid would have in their room. Um, love the color palette that we're getting in here now peaches and blues, such a pretty combination. And then we need to kind of carry it forward to this side of the room as well now. So I've just added this storage unit here, which I think above it we can do maybe a little plant or no, let's do a little calendar. There you go. Let's do a little calendar above it. And then I want some kind of kids artwork, I think, directly above the desk or like a cork board. Let's see what we've got in here. I want this room to carry forward to when she's a teenager, so we need to keep it fairly mature. Okay, something like this could be pretty if we can get the right items on it. Oh, see, that could be good as an artist or that is good for her studio. <laughs> I think it's probably better for her studio. This is also pretty. Ooh, we could do clothes above it. That's interesting. Yes, that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do these shelves here with some clothes directly above it. Perfect! I think that's realistic because that's not a very big wardrobe for her. So I think that's perfect. That makes sense. And then let's get her a laptop. Actually, I don't know. I'm under. Yeah, let's get her a laptop. We'll get her a cheap laptop for the desk and just maybe a little light like that, a little blue light. And then maybe a toy, one toy as a kid. Let's get her a private journal. There you go, we'll get her this little private journal. Perfect, I think we are done. So this is Pearl's bedroom. 
And now let's move on to the master bedroom, I think. So I don't really know what kind of layout we should do, but let's just get a double bed in here and see what makes sense. I also think they would have a vanity desk. I think a vanity would fit perfectly in there. So maybe a bed coming out from the main wall. We want to keep it true to the rest of the house as well. So contemporary pieces, bold colors, maybe clashing. See, we could do, I'm tempted to do this color or this. Yeah, let's do this one. This is a good one. So I'm thinking we delete this window. Let's push this a little bit into the wall. I think we're gonna do a mirror directly above the bed. I wanna do the, oh, this is pretty. Oh, I love that mirror. Okay, for bedside tables, I'm gonna do these funky ones right here. These are from university actually, which is weird. So we'll do those two like that. And then we need to do some modern lights on top of them. I wasn't sure whether we should have something dangling down, but no, I don't think we need that. We're gonna do just these as the main lights in here, the end of the bed, like that. There you go, I think that's enough. And then let's get two bedside table lights. I want something very modern. These look cool. <gasps> Ooh, they're pretty. Yeah, these are super pretty. Okay, I need the red shelf for them actually. Okay, so I've gone and added some clutter to the bedside tables. We just have a book on one side and these spa day rocks on the other. And I've just added the plant here and a little poof on one side because on the other side, we're going to put a vanity table and maybe a wardrobe. We don't know, we won't have space. So we're gonna have to do a wardrobe here or here actually, but not as much space in here as I would have wanted wanted to be honest which is a bit of a shame kind of want to do the greenery from eco living i think that eco living has some really nice things that we should incorporate oh this is pretty as well <gasps> I love this. I always forget that we have this. I don't know if I have any wall space left. I don't, no wall space left. I mean, we could do it there. These are pretty. We could do something with these. We could just make a wall out of these maybe, like here. That could be nice. Raise them up, just have them as wall decorations. All right, I've changed the color of these vines here and now that blends in much nicer. I really like how that looks. So now we just need a chair here and I kind of want to go for something colorful. And even though it might not be functional, I I think, I think it would be pretty. Okay, yeah, something like that, like a red or a yellow. Yellow could be pretty, not blue. Green also, but maybe a bit bland. I think it's between a yellow or a red. Maybe red. Yeah, let's do red. The red and the pink clashing is kind of cool. Um, and we can tie it in with some, some other clutter items. Okay, clutter is on the vanity, and now we need to move into the wardrobe, which is gonna be very hard because this is a very narrow walkway, which makes me think, actually, we won't have any space to do a wardrobe. I don't know if we have many thin wardrobes. That's the problem. And I think they would actually have a pretty big wardrobe. So we could do a little corner moment here or what about we just move this door over and then we have a big wardrobe here. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's just do that. And then here on this side, no idea what we're gonna do, but at least now we have a decent wardrobe space and hopefully we can use the dream home decorator stuff. Oh, see, that's a pretty thin wardrobe. That could work. And then we move that over. This is a very thin chest of drawers and we could do artwork above it or a mirror would, would have been better, but we already have a mirror above the bed. And then on this side, we can hopefully still do a full cabinet. So I don't know whether we do corner pieces. What if we like do it like this? Hang on, I think I need to move it over. Okay, I'm struggling to make a bit of a corner piece here, but I think we could get away with something like this because we do already have a chest of drawers on this side. And then here we just do the normal hanging pieces. Let's see how that looks. Okay, is this weird? <laughs> I've kind of built this weird corner unit cabinet thing, which I don't know if it's weird. I can't tell. Let's see what happens when we put clothes in it. It also took me way too long because they kept snapping into place and then I would get frustrated and have to remove everything again. I think it could work, you know? I think it could be kind of cool. With then the drawers on the other side, it is supposed to be an interior designer's house. Everything is supposed to be kind of funky and quirky. We'll do a little light here, maybe in a white. I think it has potential, but I need to go in with some accessories 
accessories. See, it's already starting to look so much better, I think. It just needed some clutter on it to make it look more realistic. And then we'll do a little plant in this corner like that. There you go. And I think that's it. It doesn't really need anything else. We need a mirror in here, actually. So maybe we'll get a mirror, a full length mirror, I mean. Maybe we can do, oh, that's pretty. What can we do with this? We do two of them? No. Could do a mirror above here. <gasps> That's cool. Oh, I love that. I love how that looks. Okay, we actually do need a full length mirror, but I think, I think this is prettier. For this side, let's just get some artwork. Forget the full length mirror. We have enough mirrors in the house. Full length artwork, maybe something like this could be nice if we have a nice swatch. I think we have some red swatches. There we go. And that kind of ties in all the colors. So then the only thing left to do is find a carpet in here. And we have a lot of reds and some green and a little bit of purple. So I'm thinking maybe we do a red rug, maybe in a more muted color. Yeah, like this. Exactly like that. That is also fun. <gasps> I love it. I mean, it could be too matchy matchy, but it brings all the colors together. What about this one instead? Or this one? Honestly, I love the Color Me Rug series from Peacemaker. You can, you're almost guaranteed to always find something there that matches. So many nice options. I think maybe this one. It's a little bit more toned down than the other. Yeah, let's go with this one. And then on top of this, I'm gonna do a speaker. I don't think we have any, no, we don't have any snapping points, which is a shame, but we'll do a speaker on one one side and then maybe a nice little plant on the other. Perfect, there we go. Bedroom, master bedroom complete. I'm very happy with it actually. I think it's turned out really nice. This is the master bathroom, which I already did off camera. Just very neutral. I didn't wanna do any bright colors in here. Just keep it sophisticated. And then the last room, although actually now we have some space here for some more artwork. So let's see if there's any more artwork that we haven't used that could go well with the apartment. This is actually quite pretty because the colors match really well with the colors of the master bedroom. Let's do this one. Let's do this one here. There you go. And now every kind of blank wall has artwork, which is I think very fitting for the family. Okay, so now we move on to the office, which is the obviously the interior design office. I think we're gonna do some cabinets along that side. I wanna do these cabinets like this work cabinets. And then I wanna open up the Dream Home Decorator pack and then pull a bunch of the pieces from there. Like for example, this desk, this one, or this actually. I do love this desk. I think this desk is fun. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna do the desk a little bit to the side in this room. I just feel like it's that's something quirky that she would probably have. So we're gonna do that to the side. Let's get a colorful chair in here. Which color? Blue, yellow is kind of too matchy matchy. Kind of like the red also. Actually, we're just gonna do white. We're just gonna do plain white. And then I wanna do some cabinets on this side, work surface cabinets. Let's do two like that, perfect. And then in this corner, I'm gonna do a plant and also a chair. Let's do this. Maybe let's do this one in yellow to match the yellow. There you go, that's nice. And then we obviously need some of these, the magazines, this right here, the clutter. Let's get some boxes. These are pretty. Let's get boxes like that. Ooh, this is always good. This is the cork board. Let's do that right above. And then this, I think maybe we can slot that nicely on top. And then either here we do a plant or we do this for more storage. Kind of like the idea of more storage in here. Yeah, let's do that with a plant on top and then maybe a little mirror that hangs there. And then for light, let's do this one in white. Pretty, I like it. I mean, it's simple. It's really, really simple. It doesn't need to be overly complicated. And then I actually wanna get a full desktop computer for the desk. Let's get that one right there. And then some more paperwork, I guess. Paperwork and books. And then here I want some paperwork or some drawings of some sort, like some scribbly notes, um, which I don't know what career they come with, but they're definitely unlockables. Oh, I found this. This is good. Let's do this in this corner like that. There you go. Some paperwork. Okay, I found two things that will kind of do the job. We have these sketches here of, well, they're just portraits. And then we have this architectural looking picture here. I think that's perfect for that wall. So then on this side, we can just do a mirror. I think, yeah, that's too big. Kind of want to do this mirror again, but maybe just a, yeah, a circular one. Perfect. We'll just do a little circular one there. And then a nice little plant on top, maybe some fresh flowers. These ones, pretty. 
I always think these flowers look a little dead, but maybe it's the lighting. But pretty, I think that looks really nice. There you go, all done. I don't know if we wanna do a carpet in here. No, let's not do a carpet. Let's keep it as it is. That concludes our Barry apartment, and I'm so happy with how it's turned out. Actually, this apartment is probably my favorite out of all of the ones we've done for Palm Sim so far. So yes, very happy. They make a nice addition to the meadows, and that officially marks us half Way through this apartment block which is crazy because I cannot imagine building another one I think after the meadows actually we will move on to some celebrity mansion I think we need to start building some celebrities into Del Sol Valley sorry into Palm Sims but yes first we need to tackle three more of these apartments but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the part two because it was just it would have been such a shame if I had to edit that into one video. But next video, you can expect something a little bit different. And then, of course, then we'll be back to Palm Sims very soon. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.